Welcome back to the channel. I have to change the brake calipers in the front of the Land Cruiser. As well as changing in the back. And uh, that was working, but I was out uh, testing it very hard. And then I get some leakage from the right hand side front. So I just had to start with the. I order them and they actually come very fast from one place. So uh, now I can just uh, start taking off the wheels and start uh, changing things here. At first, I had to loosen the wheel bolts, of course. Start to see in here, you see this brake fluid inside. Also the big disc. You see it's leaking in here somewhere. And somewhere in the caliper it's leaking. Now I have to take off the pipe, I have to clamp this one and things like that. This will fall out. Then I have to screw out this piping. Let's put the brake fluid in. That the phone was 11 millimeters. But before I do that, I have to clamp here. Less brake fluid. Yeah. And it seems like it's right before it coming loose here. Then I have to find the. Uh, here it looks like it's uh, 17 stone here. That is with the holder on it. First now I have to see if the thing I have is with the holder on everything. So we have to back in here to open that. So when I open the package, I have to see this big suckers. Yeah, this looks like to be the big screws in here. I think it should be 17, maybe. I have to check that. Yeah, uh, like on the other one on the back, it was 17. Finally, it's a loosen the 17 millimeter. So now I just have to take it out. Two bolts. That's the second one. To see if I can yeah. come out very easy. See in here. Some of these things are leaking. It's very greasy. I have to clean off this disc. Take out the clips. There. Go through there, go through there. Then the other one. There. And there. It's very simple. It's 
especially when you don't have to pick it to pieces. Put on those clips there. You see, sliding loose clips there. Then I have to get this one in. Seems to be. Seems to supposed to have them underneath here. Okay. Then just take out the clips again. See, move this one in there. There. Put these clips back. This clip on this side. There. Now it's underneath there. And then those should be inside the holes here. Aha! I pressured it in here. Oh, see, it's spring action. Spring going up there, crushing it out to the side. And then. Now, what I need to do now is just put it back. Before I do that, I'm going to get some copper grease. To put on the screws on things. Put on some copper grease. Now those screws should be okay. Now I just have to put this ball back. Finally, I was using only the fingers to start it. Now it looks like it's started. Let's see if it's working. It's just to get it to start to screw in. Ah, it seems like it's starting to enter. Yeah, so the best tips was to clean it up, oil it up properly, and then use just my fingers. Hmm. Okay, then you know, I'm just going to screw this in, it's difficult to keep the camera here. Yeah, now I tighten it as much as I can with uh, this small tool, I'm not going to tighten more because it wasn't so hard tightened before 
So it is time to take off this lamp. Then there's a bleeding nipple is here. And first I have to fix on the other side. So you see two screws, top, bottom, 17 millimeters. Take off this and then put in the new system. So I just go and do the same on the other side and then I come back with me bleeding this one. Yeah, then uh, one of the pipes to the caliper was breaking. So I've been out. See if I could get tools to make one that uh, get to that sh shop we have in called Biltema. And they had finished made pipes that they, we think this is the right. <laughs> So I seriously hope that now. So now I'm going to try it. I come home again. And it's so late in the evening, so I can't go back if this is wrong. So I just have to try it. Long time ago, I bought this uh, bender system for pipes and the cutter. Then I was thinking to learn how to make the pipe, but I never get time to do the rest. So now, the first times I can pick up this one, see if I can bend the pipe. Oh, hold in. So pump, eh? Hold in. Oh, sleep. It was kind of, let's try if we can clean up a little of the lens. Ah, a little better. Had problems uh, when I was changing the calipers in the front. On the right side, it had been changed before, and the pipe was changed. On the other side, the pipe was not changed, and I had problem the pipe going from the suspension leg uh, and out to the brake caliper that was torn off, and I tried to screw it loose. I've been there uh, maybe the whole time of the car. So that was giving uh, problems, but luckily it looks like I get the right one. I was out buying at a Biltema, one uh, shop here that's selling all kinds of things for cars. It looks like we was getting the right, yeah, on very nice length that I was bending with a bending tool that I bought many, many years ago. And now that one is on and we, um, me and the oldest boy have bleed the brakes. So now I go out for a test drive. I'm supposed to use this car driving for Norwegian Championship in basketball for U16, younger than 16. And that is only two days, yes. three days from now we're going to drive. <coughs> so I had changed the calipers in the back and now we changed in the front. And changed the brake uh, pads in the front too. I've been out driving, testing it. At, um, make a little whining noise uh, when I come home on the brakes but new calipers cold as ice brake disc is a little warm so no problem cold as ice brake disc just a little warm but I've been driving it up in some steep hills, so that should be. On this side it was making the mess of the brake fluid going out in the sides. Now it's, that's no problem. Back. Little warmer. I have been breaking hard.
but everything looks okay. <coughs> so now we then have changed the calipers. The pad um, back was uh, almost new, so I haven't changed them, but only the calipers in the front. New calipers and uh, new Brembo pads, and on uh, the other side, new piping. Because that was going so yeah piece by piece we are fixing up well now it looks to be okay i'm going to try it tomorrow night driving to a meeting and then i'm going to see if we're going to drive it uh, to the norwegian championship in basket in the weekend so that is very far uh, almost 600 kilometers one way i think around there so we have to see Maybe I need to lock it. Maybe that would be a nice thing so no one steal it. I'm sorry, I don't have a remote key. I only have the spare key. I have uh, equipment for cutting keys, but uh, and they say I can't program another key from this key. If I had the ordinary key, I should have been able to program it, they say. So, it may be I'm just cutting one key so I have to be able to get into the car at least. Okay, thank you for coming by the video. Please come back and uh, please subscribe to the channel. I have more than 80 videos soon about the Land Cruiser 120 series. So, it's a lot to see. All kinds of small things for the car for timing belts uh, also brakes and uh, all kinds of things filters and so please subscribe if you have a car like this maybe it could be a lot of things you would like to see on it and i have two of it so i'm going to make more videos more service thing and things like that thank you please put a comment please like the video